Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well today we're going to take a look at Divi Flexible Headers which is a download available from Divi Extended, the same makers of the great Divi Plus plugin. And what we're going to do, we're going to take this sort of Divi theme header here, the one that comes in the box, and we're going to change it from this to something that looks like this. Really easy to do. Now Divi Flexile headers come in 50 flavors. You get 50 stylish headers for every purpose. They've got a little demo file up here. This is the one I've actually used today, number 17 there. And they've got various different ones. I haven't got a store, so I haven't used one of the, the ones with a cart in my account. But they've got some fantastic layouts. So you have a hamburger menu on the main menu. They've got highlighted buttons, carts and icons. And like I say, there's 50 of these things and there's some wonderful options and they're really easy to do. And I'll put the link to this down below the video, obviously, so anybody can check it out if they want to purchase it. OK, so once you've got it and downloaded it, it's going to download as a zip file. So you have to unzip it. And this is what you get when you unzip it and the file that you want is the Divi Flexile headers right here and it's a JSON file. To install it you need to go down to your dashboard, go down to your Divi library, not your theme builder. You'd think you might put those in the theme builder but you don't. You put them in your Divi library itself. Now I've already got mine imported as you can see but if you haven't got it imported simply hit import and export. Hit the import tab over here and you can either hit the choose file button and browse to your download location or simply grab the JSON file that you want, drag it up there and hit import Divi Builder Layouts. I'm not going to do that because I've already got mine imported. It'll take about a minute to import these. Once you've got them imported, they're going to appear in your library right here, nicely numbered as you can see. Now to use these, you need to go to your theme builder right here, which is where you add your global headers and footers. I've already put one in there. If I delete that, save the changes, and we'll go to this page I put it on here. If I refresh this, this should revert to the previous one that we had there, the default Divi header. There it is right there. So you can play with them, import them, export them, have a look at them. If they don't work for you, just go back to the original and you're not going to change anything, which is great. So now we're in our theme builder. Let's add a global header. Don't want to build it because we've got it in our library. So I'm going to hit add from library. Save layouts. And here they are. I'm going to use 17 again, which is what I used last time. And that quickly did it. Now if I save this in preview, it'll have the new one in there, but we'll just have to tweak it and just make it the colors and things that we want it to have here. So there it is. Let's go back in there and edit it. I like this one because it's got a nice search box up there, which is really handy. So I'm going to put my own logo in here. Simply go in, put your own logo in. It's just an image file. Okay. And I think I want to change my social icons so they match my logo here. I've got a color picker up here, a free one that comes with Chrome. Let's grab the color that I want. There it is. We'll copy that color. We'll go into this module. I'm going to go to design, icon, icon color. Simply place my hex code in there. Great. And we just need to do the border as well for our icons. Fantastic. And obviously you want to go into these and put the URL to your Facebook account or whatever social media account it is here in content and link. 
Okay, what else do we want to do? Well, that's not my menu up there. My menu was home about pricing and contact. So let's put my menu in there. We'll go into the menu. And it'll grab the first one because that's the only one I've got in there. There it is. And I think I'd like to change the background color also to match this logo up here. So to do that, that's the actual row that it's sitting in there, the green tab. Go to background. I'm simply going to paste my color in there. Fantastic. And of course, you're going to want your own number and email in there. Simply put your number in. And the same with the email, of course. And there it is, we've got a completely customized menu. Now, before we can see it up there, we need to make sure we've saved our page changes. X out up here. Make sure everything's saved up here. Now, if we go back to our page, if I refresh, this should have my logo. Those would have changed my number and email in there and the menu that I want up here. So let's refresh. And there we go, we've got our new header up there and that looks a lot more interesting, really easy to do. And like I say, you've got 50 of these to choose from. Now let's just check it for tablet and mobile. Hit the little purple button down at the bottom here. And let's have a look on tablet. That's great. I don't particularly want the Divi Flexile logo there. So let's go into this block here and that looks like a menu block. So we can just delete the actual logo or replace it with your own if you want to. Fantastic. Now let's have a look at the mobile version. And again, we've got a similar thing in there. Simply going to delete the logo. Great. So we're good to go there. Let's make sure everything's saved. And exit out. And we've got a brand new, fully responsive menu right there. And that's a great little feature. So there we go. It's Divi Flexile headers. And I'll put the download link below the video. Anybody wants to check it out. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.